Hey guys, it's Nick here. It's Monday morning. I've got a really good video for you guys about the fact that um, in the context of Law of Attraction, you can't screw it up, you can't miss an opportunity. Um, but before I get to that topic, I want to show you guys something really quick. I am in sunny Cancun this morning. We're checking out some beautiful five-star resorts uh, to potentially host an event in November. And I want to show you guys this room. So every at this resort, every room on the top floor has a private uh, balcony or private rooftop a patio. Check how cool this is out. So, so here's the door that comes up. Here's our private hot tub. Um, there's some construction on this, uh, across the street there and that hasn't been a problem at all. But um, here is uh, our little living space. Um, gorgeous spot for meditating, yoga, writing. I really love it up here. It might even be my favorite place on the whole resort. Um, and let me show you the view really quick. So it's about 7.30 a.m. The sun's just about to come up. And here you can see the beach, right? Um, gorgeous spot. So this is one of the top uh, two, top three resorts we've got in mind for this November um, Elevate Law of Attraction uh, event. We're hoping to open it up to close to 50 or, or 75 people. We're not quite sure yet. We still got to talk to some of the, the resort staff about our options. Okay, so back to the topic at hand. So. Why is it that in the context of Law of Attraction, there's no such thing as missed opportunities, or why is it that you can't screw anything up? So once you understand that reality is purely vibrational, everything experiences a vibrational match to you. So what that means is that if this is your vibration, and you've got option A, B, C, D, E, and F, it doesn't matter which door you choose, because the end result experience is what's gonna match your vibration, right? It's not the door you choose that creates the outcome. It's your vibration that chooses the outcome, that defines the outcome, right? So if you're at a vibration of failure, the end result's gonna be failure. If you're at a vibration of dissatisfaction, the end result's gonna be dissatisfaction. If you're at a vibration of wealth and success, that's gonna be the end result, right? And the end resulting vibrations, they all exist at all times. Right? So in the context of missed opportunity, understand that it's not the doors that present themselves that create the opportunity. It's your vibration. Your vibration is what creates opportunity. So if your vibration is up here, if this is a vibration of high wealth, high success, loving relationship, whatever it is, if you get your vibration to match the desire, the end result has to show up. Right? It has to. That's law of attraction. Law of attraction is law. Law, 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 law. Like gravity. It's law. Right? So it's not about finding opportunities and taking advantage of opportunities and not screwing up opportunities. That's completely irrelevant. Right? It's about getting your vibration to a match to the end result you want. And once your vibration is a match, it has to show up. And your vibration, again, as a reminder, is all inside job. It's got nothing to do with what's going on out here. Right? Yes, you have to take action. Right? You have to follow the flow of excitement. You have to follow your inspirations um, and do it from a place of alignment, right? But again, once your vibration is in that right place and it's steady there, the end result experience has to show up and there's an infinite number of doors that can bring you there. So you can't get it wrong, you can't screw it up. Just keep looking at, vib at reality from a vibrational standpoint rather than from an action and effort standpoint. So that's what I wanted to share today. Hope this is useful for you. Um, if it was, drop a comment. Uh, if you're confused, drop a comment. If you have any questions, drop a comment. And again, keep an eye on my Facebook wall, my Facebook page um, for some announcements about this November event. Hopefully we'll get something posted in the next four to six weeks. Um, bye uh, for now. Ciao.